Good evening again. <clears throat> Gonna tie uh, another birthday fly. <clears throat> this is for my middle sister Trudy. Her birthday was uh, June 8th. Happens to be the same date as my wife and my anniversary. Um, so, needless to say, I wasn't tying flies on that day. Um, but I try to tie birthday flies for different people of significance. And uh, I just tied one for my other sister, Amy. Uh, that's on my channel also. And then I came across this fly. And... Thought it would be a good one for Trudy. Um, this one is called the Royal Trude. T-R-U-D-E. I'm not making that up. It's actual actual fly that I found in my fly book that I've had for years and years and had never noticed before. So I thought, well, why not tie a fly that's named similarly to my sister's name? So this is a kind of involved fly. It might take me a little while. Although often my videos are a little long. So I think the only material that I don't actually have to truly make this fly correctly is the tail material. And it calls for golden pheasant tippet. Um... And what that is, is instead of this being, this is, these are just hackle barbs, but the, the one that it calls for is kind of a, a, kind of a yellowish gold color with a brown, a black stripe and a black tips on the end. So I could cut this off and like draw tips on the end, or I could just leave it like this and call it a day. I think I'll do that for now. If I don't like the look, I can always add that to it. But, um, anyway. Um, I think that I've got all the other materials pretty much correct. So, I don't buy materials often. Um, I usually just, if I come across a fly that I want to tie, I just go off of what I have already and just make it work. Or just make it similar. Um, basically, the fish don't really care. It's more about the art form of it, of making the flies resemble something that God created. Alright, so this um, this fly uses peacock curl. Uh, this is when you have a peacock feather that's got all the iridescent look to it. Um, these are the things that make that up. So, go ahead and Tie this on, I'm keeping the, the materials on the top so I keep the basic shape of the hook. I don't want to have it on the sides or underneath. Uh, if you put too much stuff underneath, of course, you'll get things in the way of where the hook needs to set in the fish's mouth. The more material you have on the bottom, the less gap you have. So, uh, so this is supposed to be a, a dry fly which means that when you cast it, it's supposed to sit on top of the water, which means that you're typically supposed to use, um, you're typically supposed to use a hook that's lighter, like lighter weight, so it doesn't sink as fast. But I've been tying most of my flies on this channel with my Eagle Claw set of hooks, again, because I don't, I don't shop too much for fly tying materials. Every now and then I'll go and buy a couple things. So what I'm doing here is um, I've made a loop in my thread. Um, I'm going to tie it. I'm going to cut half of that loop. So basically I've tied myself another piece of thread to use. I'm going to take this hackle because hackle, uh, sorry. Um, this hurl, ostrich hurl, peacock hurl. Wow. Oh. 
Although that would be cool if ostriches looked like peacocks when they're just that big. Anyway, so I twist these things around this thread so that makes it stronger because this stuff is tends to be brittle. Just keep twisting it. Pretty good. So I'm just going to get a couple of turns out of this first. Just going to build up this little butt part here. Like that. That's enough for now. And then I want to go here flat on top. I just want to move this over some because I need to put a section of red thread in the middle of this fly. So I'm just going to tie it down smooth. Made that thread a little bit long. This extra piece. There. Get it out of my way. So now I'll come back. And I'm going to tie in my red thread. Um, so these these flies, when they're called royal like this, there's a royal wolf is the real popular one. Uh, they call them royal when they have this red stripe in them. You can have a regular fly and then you can have a royal version that has the stripe. And you'll see that in just a second when I make it happen. I'm going to hang this to the back so it's out of the way while I tie in also the wire. Uh, this calls for gold wire, but I've got my gold wire is kind of thick. I want to have a thinner version, so I'm tying in the copper. You can see it. There it is. Um, I just, we had some Christmas lights that went out, and I decided to save a good portion of them. <laughs> Of the wire I've got quite a bit of extra copper wire now Ooh, hope I didn't break those hackles okay so I want this to go to about there Maybe it's too far just a little red section there uh, so what I'm gonna do is just take this red So me and my sister spent a lot of time in our cabin. We'd go swim, we'd go hunt, we'd go play on the sandbar. Our cabin has these sandbars. Every time the creek turns, it leaves sand. It looks like a beach. Well, it actually looks like snow because it's white. Very white. Um, but the sand would get really firm on like it would get wet and then it would dry and it would harden and um it would get so hard that you could almost walk on it without it falling out from under your feet so one of the things we would do is try to walk on it without it breaking um but so my sister amy liked to spend a lot of time fishing um I know that Trudy fished some, but I don't remember her fishing much. She liked to go and read books. So she would hang out in the cabin more more than anything and fish, to my memory. Um, it's been a long, long time since we were at the camp together. All the three of us. It gets harder and harder to do when everybody lives out of state. Like me and... Me and Trudy do, and like Amy did for a while. But at least Amy was in pretty easy driving distance, so. All right, so I've done that. So I've got my, the one thing about this peacock hurl is it's not very, it's not very dense. It's real short. See, this, this is like, it's like a feather. It's got little barbs on it, and the barbs are real short. That's what's all sparkly on there. But, 
it doesn't um there are there are other ones that are longer when you wrap them they stick out more and that's what I was trying to go for but I just have what I have so I'm going to take this wire and wrap it uh, just slightly apart like that so you can still see the red but you can see the copper flashing over the red just take a couple of turns till it gets over here where I want to tie off just wrap forward like that and I'll just come around and oh, that's weird fix that real quick. I should have held that wire because when I went to tie it, it moved. That's one thing I don't like about wrapping the opposite direction of the thread or all the materials is that it has a harder time tying off. Hackle ended up further forward than I wanted it to. I wasn't careful with that. No, my hackle, I keep calling it hackle. My ostrich hurl, peacock hurl. I'm tired. So I'm just going to wrap this backwards a bit. Some turns here. I think I salvaged it. So this fly, um, you know, has that wire in there. Usually, when you have wire on a fly, you you tie in the wire here. And then after you wrap everything, then you come through and wrap the wire over all of it. And from what I can tell from this picture that I'm going off of, they didn't wrap over the whole thing. They just use it for decoration there in the middle. So I could easily have gone through and made it wrap over the whole thing, but I don't know if it would change the look of the fly. And it may have added too much weight to the fly for what I wanted to do, which is float. Oh, I almost forgot. I go ahead and prepare these feathers, but I almost forgot to add the deer hair. This fly has a section of deer hair tail. Or deer, deer tail hair. Buck tail. Okay, my hackles are ready. Um, I actually couldn't find my deer tail, so I've got this old fly that I'm going to cut a piece of deer tail off of. It's a fly that I tied as a as a test run, and I don't think it will work very well, so I'm just going to... I think the concept is right, but I don't think I did it right. Uh, so this just ties in here, lays over the top a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'll stack these. But I will take out some of these shorter ones. I don't think my stacker will successfully stack these. That's actually pretty square. I think we're good. Maybe I'll take this one short one out. Or one extra long one out. And get it out there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just tie this in. this up.
I'm just going over these cut ends to make sure they lay down flat because I've got to come in and tie a feather over these and wrap over it. Okay, take care of that. I want to go back here. So I want to make these stand up a little more. So I'm going to go behind here. There's my thread. There we go, like that. Okay, I'm going to tie in my hackles. Now I'm actually calling them the right thing. These are actual hackles. This one's a little bit shorter hackle, so I'm going to grab it with the plier this time. I'm going to put this in and, and wrap it in between this other one. So it just makes it a little thicker. Hold these back a little bit. Build up a head. Here's my whip finisher. Okay, so that's the basic fly there.
suspensions are a little bit funky on this fly. Um, this is a bigger hook than I should have used because it's a heavier hook. But you get the idea of how to tie it. Um, uh, and then again, these feathers, these barbs on the back are not ideal for what it's supposed to be. But um, the sample is more of a defined end and then the tips are black. I could do that with like nail polish or a marker um, and make it look the way it's supposed to. But you know what? This will do just fine. This will still float on top of the water. This hackle could have been a little bit bigger because of the size of the tail and all the other parts. But like I said, it'll do just fine. It has the look of what it's supposed to. Here is a picture of what I was working off of. Is this one here? So, I think we did pretty good. So, this is for my sister Trudy's birthday. And, hope you liked it. Love you, Trudy.